Christine Gallon here with the Chatham Journal. I'm with P Pat Welter of WRAL, and he's got something special coming out on Drake Powell. Pat, tell us what you got coming up. Uh, yeah, if you've been to Northwood basketball games this season, you probably saw me around and were wondering, what is this guy shooting and when is it coming out? Uh, well, I followed Drake Powell, Matt Brown, and the basketball team through kind of their key moments throughout the season, whether it was the rivalry game against Seaforth, the huge matchup against Myers Park, um, to Drake's All-American ceremony, right down to the dramatic bitter ending when they fell just short against Farmville Central in the playoffs. So the story is about this once in a lifetime athlete, as it's been described to me about Drake Powell. That's everything I heard about him coming in. He's going to UNC, five-star recruit, arguably the best player in the state, one of the best players in the country. But what you find out when you get to meet him, you get to meet his family, is that he is just as good of a person to match. Uh, so it was awesome to get to know him, get to know his family, get to know the rest of the team, and Matt Brown as well, who's got an incredible story. So just this incredible culmination of talent that this team has had the last few years that ended in this run. It's the end of an era for Drake, for Matt. I'm sure Northwood has plenty of good basketball stories to come, but this one is one that I think the people of Pittsburgh will never forget. And I think the rest of North Carolina, whether you're a Tar Heel fan or not, needs to know as well. So coming up this Sunday, we're gonna show about half of it on our Sports Extra show on Fox 50, which is hosted by my coworker Casey Hintz. Uh, that starts at about uh, 10, 23 approximately uh, this Sunday on Fox 50. Uh, so again, we're gonna air about 15 minutes of it. The whole thing is about 30 minutes. And so you can see that in full on highschoolot.com and wralsportsfan.com. I'm also writing up an article pretty much as we speak. So I'm down to the deadline here. Got to get that in. I'll get that on the website, but really excited to share this. Uh, I've been working on it since uh, about January. Yeah, you and I have talked about this over the last several months. How did you decide to concentrate on this special story? Well, I, I've always wanted to be a quote unquote filmmaker. Uh, I'm a feature storyteller for, for local TV sports. And I've kind of been building to this for a long time, just telling stories about local athletes getting, you know, taking you behind the scenes. I like to say places where, uh, you know, you normally don't get to go. And, you know, Drake is such a such a rare athlete that you get to see. Like, like you know, football talent, there's a lot of football talent, so to speak, because there's so many different players. But a true elite basketball player that has a chance to go to the NBA that is in your local market, that's going to the local school like North Carolina, I think is a rare thing. So I got to meet Drake last summer, got to meet Matt and was really just impressed by both of them and thought that their stories and their personalities had the chance to carry something longer than what I normally do, which is about two minutes, maybe five. The longest piece I've ever done is about eight. So, so this is by far the biggest thing I've ever worked on. It was a ton of work. I wasn't sure if I could pull it off, but thanks to just all the people involved who helped me out with it, whether it was Matt Brown, Drake, all his cooperation, um, his amazing parents, Sharice and Dedrick, um, Cameron Vernon, the athletic director, uh, and everybody over at the school at Northwood, John Wood with Chatham County. So everyone was really cooperative and giving me the access it took to tell a story like this, uh, which was done entirely alone. Normally when you make a documentary, you got a whole crew, it's just me, a couple wireless mics. Uh, Gene, you helped us out with some footage as well uh, behind the scenes it's to some games I couldn't make. So uh, it was it was a big project, but I'm really, again, I'm really excited to get it out there. Yeah, one of the things I noticed, you really got into it. I mean, you got into the huddle. You, you, you actually mic'd up uh, a couple of folks, mm -hmm. didn't you? Yeah, I mean, uh, one thing I really believe in is audio. The video is one thing, but you can't tell the story without the words. So I had Drake mic'd up for pretty much everything I could. I took it off of him during the games. You know, if I was NFL Films, maybe I could have had it on him during the games as well. <laughs> uh, but I had Matt Brown mic'd up for every game. So that kind of stuff really makes the story come to life. I mic'd up his parents as well at certain games, other select people to kind of really give you the behind the scenes looks that you've never seen. I mean, the ending of the story, is an ending that the team didn't want to have. They obviously wanted to win a state title, and I was hoping to follow them all the way through in Winston-Salem. They come up just short, but some of those moments in the locker room where I got to be in there, hearing Matt, seeing the players' emotional reactions uh, is some really powerful footage. Uh, it's a really powerful ending, and um, you know, it was hard on Drake, it was hard on Matt, it was hard on the rest of the team, because they wanted to be that team. They were so close the last few years. Uh, they come up just short. You know, you play that game 10 times versus Farmville Central, 
I think they win it a few of those times. So that's hard to swallow. That's hard to take. But that kind of dramatic, powerful ending is also one of the reasons, you know, I love doing this. All right. So, folks, watch it on Sunday if you do miss it. But you want to see the full length thing, that's going to yep. be on High School OT site. Is that High correct? HighSchoolOT.com as well as WRALSportsFan.com. And if you prefer to read, I'm going to kind of write up a written article about it as well. All right. So, Chatham County, don't miss out on Pat's story on the greatest story that he's ever told. <laughs> the uh, Prince of Pittsburgh. The, the, we're not even going to go into that right now. <laughs>